Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and you are watching DMG Chemistry Classes and myself Dr. Mahindra Guleria, Associate Professor in Chemistry and in this video I am continuing my discussion on the basics of organic spectroscopy and in this video I am going to discuss electromagnetic wave theory and electromagnetic radiations. So friends in my previous video we discussed the importance of structure. And I told you that the properties of an element or a compound depends upon its structures and the uses of an element or a compound depends upon its properties. We also discussed what is spectroscopy and I told you that spectroscopy is the branch of chemistry which deals with the interaction of electromagnetic radiations with matter. And we also studied the various spectroscopic methods uh, used for the structure determination. And we also studied the advantages which these uh, spectroscopic methods possesses over classical methods. Okay, so in this video, uh, we will discuss the electromagnetic wave theory and what are the electromagnetic radiations. So before that, if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and also like and share my video. So let us start. So the first postulate of this theory is energy is emitted from any source. A source could be your heated rod or the tungsten filament of an electric bulb or other sources can also be there like sun or any other source. So the energy is emitted from any source continuously in the form of waves or radiations and the energy emitted in the form of these radiations is called as radiant energy. Okay. And the most common examples of this radiant energy are heat, light, x-rays, gamma rays, etc. Understood? So the energy is emitted from any source in the form of radiations. So this is the first postulate. And the second postulate is that each radiation consists of mutually perpendicular oscillating electric and magnetic fields and both of which are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of radiation. So let us understand it. So here we have three mutually perpendicular axes, x axis, y axis and z axis and x axis is the direction of propagation of radiation. Okay. Then along y axis we will have oscillating electric field and along z axis we will have oscillating magnetic field. Understood. So in this way, the electric field and magnetic field will be mutually perpendicular to each other as well as to the direction of the propagation of wave. So we can say here that these radiations are associated with electric and magnetic field. So that's why these radiations are called as electromagnetic radiations. Understood. This was the second postulate. And the third postulate is that all radiations have wave character and travel with the velocity of light. Okay. And the velocity of light is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second or 3 into 10 raised to power 10 centimeter per second. Understood. So here I want to add that these electromagnetic radiations can be described by two complementary theories. Okay. And the first theory is Corpuscular theory. Okay. So the first theory is corpuscular theory. Okay. And it is also called as particle theory. And second theory is wave theory. Okay, and none of these theories can explain all the properties of electromagnetic radiations. Some properties are explained on the basis of corpuscular theory and some properties are explained on the basis of the wave theory. Properties like photoelectric effect and black body radiations are explained on the basis of corpuscular theory or particle theory because according to this theory the radiations will have particle character okay whereas the properties like your diffraction and interference are explained on the basis of wave theory 
because according to this uh, uh, theory the radiation have wave like character as we discussed here okay the radiation also have wave character so we can say that radiation have dual character they possesses particle as well as wave character understood so this is all about the electromagnetic wave theory and electromagnetic radiations okay and in my next video i am going to discuss some important characteristics of these electromagnetic radiations which are going to be very very important in the study of spectroscopy so keep watching my videos also like and share and subscribe my channel thank you very much